It's time for another Topical Tuesday with me, Nimesh Patel, here on Tuesday after my sister's wedding. So I'll do a quick take on Indian weddings. Goddamn, I drank too much, I smoked too much, I laughed too much. The Sheridan in Parsippany, fantastic wedding venue for you know all the grand ballrooms and after party rooms and all that. But bro, put some money in the rooms, Sheridan. The weddings are great there, but the rooms have definitely caused divorce. I don't know when they were last updated, like 20 years ago, and everyone in Northeast Jersey that's ever, is Indian, in Northeast America that is Indian, knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you've been to the Sheridan in Parsippany at 199 Parsippany Road, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Looks like a castle, smells like a white castle. It is, it is wild, bro. The walls are so thin, the beds are lumpy as hell. I don't know how anyone sleeps. The thing you need for an Indian wedding is rest because you're up at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. if you're a woman getting ready or a groom getting ready for all this stuff. Or if you're in the bridal party like I was, this is my sister's wedding. At the same hotel, there is the Union County Education Association meetup. I don't know what's going on. A bunch of horny teachers just floating around. The room next to us, the walls are so thin, we can hear them banging at like 10 p.m watching reruns of The Office. And I look at my wife like, yo, we gotta get it together. These teachers are fucking next door. Where'd the spark go? That's all the Sheridan's fault. You understand? We hear these people moaning. Fifth grade teachers, banging. They need it, but still. Sheridan, I blame you. Fix your showers and you'll be a 10 on 10 experience. But shout out to my sister, the wedding was dope. Greatest speech of all time, in my opinion. Speaking of banger parties, Coachella this past weekend, I didn't know you couldn't drink there. I didn't know they didn't sell alcohol. I mean, you can drink, they just don't sell alcohol, which is, I find strange. I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard it through Grapevine. I also heard Grimes fucked up. Set was terrible. I think Elon definitely did that shit. Elon definitely sabotaged her set because they're going through some custody stuff from what I from what I read. Elon, bro, just hire Maury Povich. You should, I would have crashed her whole set with Maury Povich and demanded a paternity test on stage. I think he wants to be declare the dad, which, you know, who wouldn't, except everyone that's ever been on Maury, but Elon, bro, spend your money better. Get Maury, kidnap the kids, kidnap them. Create an adventure, man. What are you gonna do? You got $200 billion, you can do whatever you want. Except, obviously, run companies well. Cutting Tesla, 14,000 people. Maybe you should move those engineers to Twitter, or X, or whatever you wanna call it. Have them fix that shit, since you botched that up. Shout out to SpaceX, though. Selling satellites to governments. I appreciate it. Speaking of people who blow money poorly, Conor McGregor returning to UFC. All that money went up your nose, Conor. Snorted it away. Why else would you come back? Oh, you saw Tyson and Jake Paul fighting? Yeah, they need the money. What happened? What'd you do, man? I cannot wait to see you get your ass whooped. I don't even watch UFC, but I'll tune in for that. So good move. Hope you break another leg. I don't mean that, man. I don't, I don't know you from a hole in the wall. If I saw you down the street, coming down the street, I cross the street, but that's because I'm afraid of crazy looking white people. They have a poor history and you walk like one of those used car sales, inflatable balloon things. Anyway, uh, I'll see you on the streets, Conor McGregor. <laughs> this is big news. The uh, rust armor, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, sentenced to 18 months. Maximum sentence allowed for involuntary manslaughter. First of all, more time than OJ, R.I whatever you want to say, rest in peace, rest in hell, I don't know. Got away with it, that's what OJ did. Heidi or Hannah, you did not. There's so many questions here. Why are there even live bullets on set? Why are there not separate, like the fries and onion rings are separated at Burger King. I haven't had a surprise onion ring in my fries in years. How do you have a surprise live bullet This is a problem, I read this, she's a Nepo baby. Her dad was one of the greatest armorers and she's an idiot and got the job because her dad was like, give her a job and she goes and gets someone killed. I hope they write a rap song about her because that's some cold blooded shit. You didn't even pull the trigger, you kill somebody. And you're not even an accident murderer. An accident murderer didn't mean to kill anybody. This feels intentional. You know how hard it is to fuck that up? Like live bullet, not live bullet. Like why, why are they in the same container? I've been on sets before. They separate the nuts all the way on the other side of the set where the non-nuts foods are. So no one dies from having a nut allergy. You got live bullets and non-live bullets mixed up. I guess you would have live bullets on set if Alec Baldwin was on set because you never know when he's go, gonna go crazy and you might have to shoot him in the leg or something. 
But, you know, enjoy your 18 months in jail. Ana Gutierrez Reed. She showed no remorse, that's what the judge said. Like, they listened to her phone calls after the, when she was convicted and waiting, awaiting sentencing. She was just like, fuck these jurors and judges getting on the take. I wish I had some live bullets now. She didn't say that, but that would be pretty funny. For the record, I killed OJ, all right? It was me. I confess, man's dead. Obviously, I didn't do that. But for two minutes, I was convinced. I was at my, cousin, my sister's wedding, and right before I had to go up on stage to walk my sister, my cousin was like, yo, OJ confessed that he did it right before he died. And for like those, I could not have my phone. I couldn't do anything. I had to walk my sister out. And for like five minutes, I was like, what the, I was convinced that OJ confessed and I was so happy. I was like, that's the most gangster shit I've ever heard. Like, oh, I did that shit. Like that would, I know he allegedly confessed in that book that he wrote, which the Goldman family then bought and then put in more incriminating stuff and then published. But man, for those, for those minutes, I was like walking my sister, but thinking about what a badass OJ was to kill that guy. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Like, I was laughing and smiling, as you, you would think. It's because I'm walking my sister down to the Munda. But no, thinking about brutal, brutal murder and how to get away with it. I'm still watching Naked Gun, by the way, whenever it's on. I'll watch highlights from the trial just to see the smirks, to see, like, yeah, I did that shit. He's thinking it. You could see it. You could see it in his face. My friend asked, like, who, who is more defensible, OJ or Michael Jackson? Now, this is an interesting ethical question because you see, like, OJ definitely killed those two people, Nicole Brown and, and Ron Goldman. He definitely killed them. There's not a question. If MJ diddled those kids, then he is indefensible. Unless you take into account that those kids were definitely gold diggers. Think about it. Would you get diddled for a sweet, sweet bag? <laughs> this has been Ethics 101 with Nimesh Patel. OJ, you killed two people. You should not have done that. Cancer got you. It gets everybody. Hope you face whatever reckoning you're due. Those kids, though. Those goddamn gold digging kids. <laughs> anyway, speaking of kids, lead. In Lunchables, Consumer Reports finds lead in Lunchables. First of all, I used to eat Lunchables all the time and I'm fine, all right? I'm okay, I don't feel dumb, I'm good at English and okay at math, you know? Exposure to lead can cause slowed growth and development, mental health issues, you know, you could be stupid. But Consumer Reports found that a lot of the products, pizza, turkey, cheddar, they tested five of the 12 tested products would expose a person to 50% or more of California's maximum allowable level for exposure, which, you know, 50%, that's not like a big number, right? Nah. Keep eating Lunchables, okay? The world needs smart people and dumb people. That's how, you know, capitalism keeps going. Keep eating your turkey cheddar, pepperonis, and your pizzas that you have to spread the sauce on and not even hot. It's good for you. Lead is good for you. It goes to your bones, makes you strong. Cadmium, I don't know what cadmium is, but it sounds like Cadbury chocolate. I'm for it. Keep going, Lunchables. Lunchables said this is not true, but why wouldn't it be true? This is a wild way to find out that Lunchables is made in China. That's all I got for Topical Tuesdays. Listen, I, the, the, ain't Trump is on trial. His stock is plummeting. The fuck else is new? Iran is shooting missiles at Israel. Nothing has changed since, you know, when it all, like this is all the same. Some variant of the same. Nothing's changed. We need to start a new country. That's what needs to happen. I need to start a new country. It's gonna be called Ain't Shit Change Ica. <laughs> that's what, that's my new, I'm running, for, no, I'm gonna be a dictator of that country. All right, I'll run it well. I'll run it well. That's it. That's it for the news. I'm sure there's some tech stuff going on, some other nonsense. The incognito browser is not incognito. Google has to destroy all the porn stuff that you watched, th thinking you were safe. Wow. <laughs> what a surprise. A company that says, don't be evil is evil. It's like OJ saying, I didn't do it. He did. Okay. That's, that's it for the news. Um, I'm beat. I blame the Sheridan and the hyper strong marijuana of New Jersey's dispensaries. I'm gonna go uh, hang out with my nephew who was four and uh, we're gonna talk about how Michael Jackson was a good guy. All right, <laughs> peace.